I really looked up to him, you know. I'd have done anything for him. I was an only child. I worshipped him. When you're a kid, you don't notice everything. Not till you get a bit older. She's not really sick, my mum. Sometimes she's fine. That is, she's fine when my dad's fine. Which is most of the time, really. My dad's really important in our community. He watches me play football every Saturday. Hey, if I don't score a goal when he's watching. He always cheers me on. It's great like that. My dad loves my mum and me. And we love him. Mostly. We go on holiday every year to Tenerife. Same hotel. He doesn't like change. And everybody knows it's there. Sometimes he plays piano in the cocktail bar. Sings old Beatles songs. Really embarrassing. It's only 16 when she got married. And pregnant. in the RAF. I was well good looking in that uniform. I can see why she fancied him. Fantastic smile. His mouth kind of turned up a bit on one side like Elvis. Cute. Did the decent thing. Rushed her up the aisle. In seven years she had four children. He was half Cuban and half Russian. His mother in Cuba brought him up. Thick, black, wavy hair and a permatan. Good looking and knew it. He was a computer engineer in the city and I was working with a firm of brokers. He earned good money and liked to spend it. All the girls were after him. So I was flattered that he fancied me. Said he loved my long hair. He used to wash it for me and sit me wrapped in a towel between his legs, brush it dry. Then we'd make out. From the start, he didn't like my friends, that sort of thing. He changed things at the last minute, so my plans got messed up. My friends started getting really pissed off at me. But it was like he was saying, we shouldn't need anyone but each other. I thought it was romantic. I'm 15 now. And when I was younger, I saw things I've never talked about before. Children do hear everything. And see everything. Even if they pretend they don't. Even if they don't understand why.